writer, director extraordinaire Sion Sono hits the Nakatsu studio nutsack with his 2016 anti-porno. An abstract allegory of the Pinku Iga Japanese sex and exploitation cinema. Here with his wet to the eyeball peep show contemporary take on the softcore Roman porno subgenre. This is Sono style though, so more than bare skin we get layers of suppressed lust and lashings of lady libido thrusting out of the screen at an audience jamming down jello by the spoonful, fed only to his ardently growing flock of film followers as the irrepressible Sion Sono can. Get out the gimp suit, anti-porno is ready to ride. Like a tofu and banana sandwich, Sono combines an oddly enticing experience not offered on any regular movie menu and dares us to partake of his Frankenstein feast with all the salivatory flavour of a mad scientist drawing upon lightning to shoot his bolt. Once you press the play button on anti-porno you are sucked into a viewing vacuum that takes grip as you are introduced to a precocious young woman set up on her own in a penthouse sized living area an all in one domicile. Bright yellow and red walls ambulate the light upon the sparse furniture and flooring centering its ebb upon the focal piece king-sized bed. This effervescent scanty clad young vivacious girl is watching pornography and seems detached from the outside world yearning expressively herself to be a whore. Yet the movie moves along and the more she watches, the more adverse her reaction, until she can force no more upon herself and becomes violently sick in her bathroom. The force-fed regime brings to mind the violent antisocial experiment of a clockwork orange, itself a movie that courted controversy for its unapologetic observations of youth unabandoned in a contemporary world, breaching out into an unprepared future. The young woman is the focal point for the movie, and most all the proceedings played out all come to her in this sterile environment that she is resident. She has a personal assistant who each day calls upon her to detail a regime of meetings and interviews but it's treated like a lowly dog by her mistress and she too wishes to be a whore. Subservient, a young proprietary peer and perversely so to her whims. Acting out all manner of transient tasks and mopping up around her as the young woman constantly pushes her desires to the point of making herself physically sick whenever she experiences perversive thoughts and acts out debaucherous desires. The whole scenario gets even more sexually debased as an array of other female appointments arrive at the apartment and become embroiled in her sexually flagellous ways. The young woman parades her assistant naked around the room on display to her visitors and commands her to self-harm and puts her to task as if playing out the seven deadly sins at a party, a Roman porno pinku party. Anti-porno is truly bizarre and plays out like being prescribed an antidepressant only taken in excess and downed with a bottle of vermouth. Perverse pleasures play out in a pastiche of predetermined set pieces and then suddenly get pulled down as the Sion Sono wizardry steps out from behind a movie curtain and the audience is further perplexed as to whether they are indeed themselves no longer in Kansas. 
an oblique observation of freedom abstractly entrapping us in our own space and interjecting visions of perceived purgatory. Anti-porno is an autoristic asylum of abstract art thrown up upon the screen. A cornucopia of cinematic curio. And a contemporary pinku peep show that filmmaker Sion Sono is asking his viewers to come all aboard his wacky backy tripped out train here as Puff the Magic Dragon pulls down hard on the sexual steam whistle to rampantly ride this weird wagon of Eros to a land where unicorns roam free and Asian playmates explore their sexual inhibitions whilst writhing in a rainbow of abstract bliss. If we are any or all of us living in an age of repression, then anti-porno for sure is the proverbial wake-up poke. A curiously expressionistic viewing experience that will enthrall, amuse and likely offend with equal measure. Most definitely not a film to dive on in for your first swim with Sion Sono, but a solid 6 out of 10 for another stylized assault on the viewing senses from this unique film maker. And this movie comes with original language with English subtitles and a very nice looking 185 to 1 original aspect widescreen ratio. To sum anti-porno up, simply think Lars von Trier taking painting lessons from Salvador Dali and then realising it all to film. Thanks for watching. Sayonara for now.